Oh God, do I know what I'm doing? Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Oof, it has been way longer than I expected it to be, but hey, here we are. In hindsight, I think it's only been like a couple of months, but a lot of things have changed. As you can see, my hair is a little bit darker. I realized I had actually pretty curly hair. I moved and got a cow painting. And then your girl also got a ring light, which is like something that I honestly never thought I would see the day. And I don't really know if I'm doing this right. And I'm sorry if I like appear like really orange. It is the only filter on here that doesn't make me look completely washed out. But of course, I really wanted to film the video already about me passing the vt and &E on the first try because I know you guys are wondering. I just got off of work and I am still dirty and smelly and probably really need to shower. Sorry, but we are gonna do this today. Basically what I've decided for this video is I'm gonna give you guys kind of a breakdown of what to expect when it comes to studying for the vt and &E, when it comes to taking it, what to expect. Now before we get started with this video, I would like to bring up the sponsor of today's video, Love Plus pet.com. They have all sorts of supplies that include braces, like the one that they sent me here. I do not have a dog. However, I do know a lot of people that have dogs and they have used braces in the past. And after checking out this brand, I can honestly say like they seem like a really great brand. Now, of course, before you purchase anything, of course, please go see your vet, see what they think about it because all vets have different opinions. But the reviews are great on here. I know they also have some pet wheelchairs in there that might be really helpful. But yes, talk to your vet, do your research. And if your dog can benefit from one of these, then by all means, Check them out. So one, how do you study for the vt &E? Well, truthfully, I am probably not the best example to ask. As you guys know, I thought I was like a pretty good student. I didn't like work my butt off completely, um, but I did get pretty decent grades and I think I did learn a good amount. I think all of my classmates, maybe except for like one or two, decided to take the vt &E in July when the window opened up. So that's the first thing. There are certain windows to take the test. There is the summer window, the winter window, I think the spring, I might have it wrong, but there's like two months, I think three or four times a year where you have the option to take the vt &E. Honestly, one of the big reasons that I didn't take the vt &E in July when the window opened was because I kind of just procrastinated and <laughs> missed the cutoff to sign up for it. So don't do that. But I also wanted to make sure that I was completely 100% prepared for it. So the first thing I did was download a couple of apps. The main app that I used was Vet Tech Prep. Now this is a pricey, expensive app. Probably the most useful app that I use, but of course I will list all of my apps that I used on here. I do think Vet Tech Prep is definitely worth the money. They have, I think it's like over 5,000 questions, constantly making new questions. They also have all these practice tests where you take 170 questions, uh, tests, and practice quizzes and things like that. I think it really helps to just kind of get your mind going. Although it's expensive, I do think that tech prep was definitely worth the money. You have certain options for a subscription. I think I did the three month one and then I think I extended it another month because again, I didn't really know what I was taking the test. But guys, I worked on this all the time. I would try to go through like 50, 60, 70 questions a day during my lunch break at work or at home when I was just kind of scrolling from my phone. And it just gets your brain kind of thinking because <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be embarrassing, but that's okay. Leading on to the second thing I did, this might be what kind of helped me the most per se that I highly, highly recommend if you don't wanna get vet tech prep. Purchase at least one of the practice tests online. So the AAVSB has four practice tests that you can choose from. They're each $45. It's A, B, C, and D. And they are literally derived directly from the vt &E, Meaning that the whole entire layout is literally what the vt &E is going to be. You get to learn how to use the calculator. You get to learn how to navigate and mark questions that you want to come back to. If you're not going to use it for anything else, literally use it just to get used to it. So kind of what I did to like really get me going, I, before I even started hardcore studying. This was probably like the end of July. My school gave us two of the tests that we could practice on. They gave us B and they gave us D. They're ranked from easiest to hardest. A is supposed to be the easiest and D is supposed to be the hardest. So what I did was just to get a foundation, I took the... <laughs> I took the letter B test just to kind of see where I was and um, I failed it. <laughs> I didn't like embarrassingly completely fail 
fail it, but it was still really <laughs> discouraging and I kind of had a little bit of a mental breakdown after that. So I decided each month up until my test, I was going to take one of those tests and I was going to do it in order because I took B and I failed that. So I'm like, how am I going to do C or D? So I purchased A and I, and this was like probably four weeks after I started studying, I passed A with flying colors, you know, time to get my gears really rolling again. So then I think I skipped a month because I took B and then I took C and I passed it. And then finally, I think like a week before my test, I took D and I passed it and then I looked back on my B test because you you still have the option to like bring them up and it was just kind of embarrassing how many questions I actually knew but I just couldn't think of at the time. Now the practice tests are only 75 questions each, so not like a full test, but it gives you a good idea kind of what to expect when you're actually taking the test. And if I can recommend one thing to you guys is to purchase one of those tests, maybe C or D since they are the hardest ones and you can kind of get a feel for where you're at. Even though they're $45 each, I know there are some that are currently on Quizlet that you can look up and I don't know how up to date they are, but for those of you who do not want to pay $45 for each test, look it up on Quizlet. Now, I've always been honest with you guys, and I will continue being honest with you guys. I did not pick up a single one of my school books to study. Not one time. Now, if I wasn't super sure about something or I kind of needed something to like just reference really quick, I would pick up my big McKernan book just to kind of like flip through it and make sure that like I knew what I was talking about. But otherwise, you guys, I did not pick up a single one of my school books just because like... I know myself and rereading those just sounded like worse than any kind of torture that I could endure. Um, so I didn't do that. You are more than welcome to do that. I encourage that you do that. It's just not something that I would do. I do a lot better when I'm tested with questions and when I'm able to look up those answers if I need to. That's just how I learn personally. If you guys have a different learning thing, like go for it, power to you. I know some of my classmates made flashcards. Um, I know some made quizlets, but I knew it would just be too much for my brain because at that point I was just done. However, I did use books, but they were the Mosby review books. I currently do not have them with me because I borrowed them from work, but I will definitely put a link and a picture up here so you guys know what I'm talking about. This had a whole bunch of questions, again, just to kind of practice on, go through, see if I know what I'm talking about, um, and it was like, it's like hundreds of questions for like all these different kinds of subjects, all these different topics. I did rent one and I kind of got the older version just because like I didn't really want to pay for the newer version. It worked just fine. I think it really well stimulated my brain as well. So I was using that plus vet tech prep and then of course every couple weeks I would use the AAVSB test. And like I wasn't studying 24 seven like I should have, but I was studying a lot you guys and I was totally burning myself out. So. That's why I'm back now. <laughs> so that's another one I recommend. You can get on eBay, Amazon, um, borrow it from work. Only two books I ever picked up and used. Seriously. Okay, so here we are, signing up for your test. So just to be clear, I am in the US. I live in California. Things might be different other places. I'm not sure, but this is how it was for me. Signing up for the test, you had to get an, of an official grade report that you sent to the company, and then you're able to pick your test date. I don't, again, it, it definitely differs on when Windows open and when Windows close. I think the summer ones like July to August, and the fall one is like, November to I think like December and I think it opens back up again in like February. I I'm not 100% sure but that is kind of the differentiation. It's a couple of months in between. So you get there and it's this testing site. I was the only person there taking the VT&E. Everyone else there was like doing like engineering, mechanics. You have to put everything in a locker. You have to make sure your ankles are showing where they can see your socks. You cannot be wearing a jacket. I had to take off my sweatshirt and it was November and it was freezing. They slowly one by one put you in the room. So for the VT&E, you have about two and a half hours to take the test. And I feel like I didn't breathe for like the first like hour and a half because I really don't remember. But I remember I did have to go to the bathroom and you are able to take a bathroom break, but it can only be five minutes and your test still keeps going. So keep that in mind. And I remember telling myself, I'm like, go take a bathroom break. Even if you don't really have to go, like do not blow this for yourself. Just you're going to be pissed if you fail because you were anxious. So I did. I got up went to the bathroom, took a couple of deep breaths, came back and let myself calm down. Like I had more than enough time to finish. I was just very anxious. And for me, the way of always taking tests was I always go through the questions I know first. So I think I skipped like the first like 30 questions and then went straight for the ones that I knew like absolutely for sure. And I saw that I passed. For me personally, I did not get my score until like five minutes later. They email you the score that you got 
And I know that I covered it up with my post and that is just because I still had friends that were taking it and I, you know, I didn't want to be compared to anybody. But of course I will let you guys know my score because passing is passing. My score was like 460. See, I want to say it was like 465 or something like that. I was not in it for the score as long as I got above 425. Literally guys don't get discouraged. I passed by probably only a couple of questions, but that's that's okay. Passing is passing. You're never going to need that score ever again. So please don't be discouraged. So then once you get that, you submit everything to your state board and you know, kind of, this includes like getting fingerprints. This includes like getting fingerprints. It kind of varies how long it takes for me. It was about like two months roughly. But I finally got it guys and I am so excited and I really can't believe it. I am, I got a license number and I made it. Holy crap, it has been a journey, let me tell you. And I am just so happy to be done. I feel like I can finally have a life. And I can finally breathe. And it just feels so good, you guys. So literally keep pushing, you guys. If this is what you want, you will do it. And honestly, I think it has paid off for me so far. It's only been a couple of months and I am just so excited for the future. I don't know what it's gonna hold, but I'm so excited and yeah, I think I just about covered everything. But of course, if you guys always have any questions, I am more than happy to answer them and comments, anything like that. Please feel free to leave down below, message me on Instagram, whatever you guys want to do. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.